Hey, and welcome back to Abandoned Oz. I'm currently at Sydney's Central Station. And this weekend, the long weekend, is the 2024 New South Wales Transport Heritage Expo. As part of this expo, we have Red Set W3, or commonly known as, uh, once they were retired, as Red Rattlers. The single deck cars, uh, made by Commonwealth Engineering, are from the 50s, and the two double deck cars in the middle are Tulloch carriages. Uh, made from 1964. So the carriage closest to the camera here is C3708. Second car is T4814. Third car is the first one of the Tullocks, T4801. And the furthest car is C3702. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to just have a bit of a look at the outside of this train and then we're going to head over to the platform and give you all a look inside. I do have a railway channel. Um, for things like this. However, I have added a bit of history and things like that, obviously, to Abandoned Oz, uh, which you would have noticed. And this would definitely bring back memories for some of you. T4814 is in the PTC Blue livery. Started off from the platform across because the lighting's a bit horrid over on the platform itself. So we'll get a good look of the outside of it from here and then see what we can get from there. Plus the inside. information on W3 and its carriages if you want to pause and have a read and resume when you're done. Oh, yeah, mate. Hello. Another really cool thing that they've done is they've reprinted some old ads and things and placed it all throughout the train.
Well, they look like they look like they're more wider as well. Oh. So this is a double deck color trailer T4814, the one that's painted in PTC blue. Those slide windows. It's a fun fact, um, these carriages, the Tullock double deckers are actually my favourite kind of double deck carriage on the network. And on these double doors here, you have uh, drop down, drop down windows. So you pinch these, you can lift it up, put them down. Do not try to put your hand down. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Get the sideways seating. When I was a kid, traveling on these things, I used to just call them like the special seats or something because the uh, the other double deck cars uh, didn't have the sideways seating uh, up or downstairs. These seats too. Definitely a lot easier to turn than they used to be, but this train has been beautifully restored. It was supposed to run tours this um, this Transport Heritage Expo, however, due to um, some more testing required, uh, it wasn't it wasn't able to run. So, so it didn't. However, it is on static display for people to to enjoy. Now we're going to head into the next car, which is the same type of carriage. But this one is red, and this carriage is actually the first of the Tullock Double Deck Trailers T4801. And the paint job on this one looks a lot smoother as well. Not saying the other one's bad, just, you know what I mean. <laughs> So we have a beautiful old Perspex map from the State Rail days, the Sydney system. Now, then, compared to now, there is so much that's changed. For example, the Warwick Farm Racecourse line is no longer there. Sandown and Carlingford lines are no longer there. Well, you could say Carlingford's there, it's just been converted into a light rail line. Ropes Creek line branching out of St Mary's, um, with stations at Dunheaven, Cochrane and Ropes Creek, no longer there. Bankstown line has recently closed. There is now a um, connection from East Hills right through to Glen somewhere. Glenville. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also the Royal National Park station um, line is closed to regular train services. It's now actually part of the Loftus Trainway Museum. And there is no link between Epping and Chatswood. 
Start with downstairs. So the final car in this set is single deck car C3702. This car led the first passenger train between Liverpool and Campbelltown in 1968 once it was electrified. Well, that's it for this video i reckon so thanks for watching please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel all that good stuff and we'll catch you soon
拜。